Okay, and now with your um, with your controller plugged in and everything powered up and you got your radio on, it's in safe mode. What we're going to do right now is we're going to check to make sure that each one of the motors is rotating in the correct direction. You, you really want to do this with the without the propellers on, okay? So what you do is you take it out of safe mode and then by putting the throttle in the bottom right hand corner like that and then you give it a little bit of power. What I like to do is just kind of watch it and it's a low speed you can actually feel it. So this one's going, I see my little arrow there, my arrow's going that way so that one should be clockwise, this one should be counterclockwise and you can actually just feel it. It's kind of dangerous to do this at high speed but with a low speed like this really there should be a problem. This one, I have my arrow going that way so it should be clockwise my motor over here this one is arrow going counterclockwise some people put little pieces of tape on there or do other things like that but this method kind of works good for me so I turned it on let's get this motor in here this one's supposed to be clockwise and that's right this one's supposed to be counterclockwise and that's right so they're all turning in the right direction if there, one of them wasn't turning the right direction, all you do is you disconnect your, one of your motor wires to the motor that's not spinning in the right direction. Just switch any two wires. So I just take this one off. And if it was spinning the wrong direction, I would take this one off and plug it onto here. Plug this one onto here. Now the motor will be switching and it's going the opposite direction. Let's do this for example. Most of them are going that way, so now it's going. Now it's going this way. Now it's going clockwise. I'm going to switch one of my motor wires back now. And that's how you make change your motor directions. Good. Okay, good. So that's the motor directions. Okay, so I got my props lined up here. We got um, three of the counterclockwise props, and we're going to have three of the clockwise props all set up. I'm using these gem fan props which are nice because it's a, like a glass fiber prop that's nice and firm. They're a little bit more expensive but um, they work great. So the other thing you should do is kind of back this up here a second is use a balancer to balance your props. And it's a good idea to make sure that you do this. Let me just crank this up a little bit so you can see a little bit better to balance your props to make sure that you don't get a lot of vibration and this one as you can see is well balanced but go ahead and go through that for each prop to make sure it's nice and balanced this particular balancer is uh, it's this top flight balancer it's magnetic so it actually works really good um, basically you just take the little plastic sliders off slide your prop on it automatically centers it Put it in there, sit it in there, and see if your prop balances. And that's that. Okay, so now what I've done is I've taken all my props and I've installed them, the correct prop on each. Checking again to make sure my direction, counterclockwise on counterclockwise, motors, and so forth. The other thing I did mention before is I'm using a 9 point, uh, nine by 4.7 props on here. It would actually work out pretty good because I didn't want, if I used 10s, I didn't want them to get too close to each other. And uh, the 8s would just wouldn't provide enough power. So a 9 by 4.7 is actually, I think it's going to be a good propeller for this craft. So um, after you have the uh, propellers on there, you basically just put a washer on there. This also becomes part of that kit that you get that you, when you order for each motor, get one for each motor. And then we just take this and we just crank this down. Just do that for each motor, get that all nice and tight. And I'll come back in a second. Let's uh, see how she goes.
the auto level. Back to auto level. Okay, the final verdict is flew great right out of the right out of the chute. I didn't have to really charge hardly change anything. It didn't mess with any of the, the gain settings. The only thing I changed was eventually I changed in the self-leveling. I go into the menu here, I go down to um, self-leveling. The only thing I changed in self-leveling is I changed the peak gain from hundred down to seventy. And um, that's the only thing I changed from just the stock settings right out of the box. And it flew in self-leveling mode perfect. And it flew out of self-leveling mode very, uh, very agile and uh, didn't wobble. And you know, I really didn't have to do anything to it. It flew great. So all I have to do now is uh, clean up my... Um, my wiring and put my um, little zip ties around my speed controllers and uh, the only other thing I did do is I wired in my my power connector so this powers comes from the main power and it goes to the board to um, uh, send the voltage to the KK board so that I could set up my voltage alarms but uh, that's the only other additional thing that I did if you're interested in seeing how to do that, I have another video on connecting this wire and setting up voltage alarms on this KK2 board. In addition to upgrading the firmware and the board from 1.2 is, you know, the last time I got it from Hobby King, it came in at version 1.2. I upgraded a version 1.5, which really helps in the self-leveling and it, it also um, allows you to use a, a camera gimbal and set that up but um, other than that man that was a pretty quick build and uh, it flew right off the bat without any problems okay I just want to show the final result after I neatened it all up and got it all nice and tidy just put tie wraps on each of the bands I'll look from the bottom here so I put a tie wrap basically to hold those connectors together and make sure they don't come loose two, two tie wraps there one tie wrap around the speed controller. Right now we just have this simple um, setup with uh, Velcro straps for the battery compartment which seems to be working good. But, um, but that's it. That is the uh, hexacopter build. Completely done.